How does it look? Can you help the chocobo? Well, the doctor says he's out of immediate danger, for now. But he needs quality fodder to get his strength back. Why, that is good news. I suppose that means you'll be wanting lots of gazelle greens then, won't you? I could give you lots normally, but we've just shipped off our latest harvest to the city, and we don't have any left. So it's no use waiting for the next crop, right? Actually, gazelle greens ripen ever so fast. They spring out of the ground right before your eyes, if you have fertilizer, that is. Father went off to the woods to collect fertilizer, but he still hasn't returned. He's been gone for days. But the woods aren't that far. Could something have happened? He does it all the time. He wanders off without a word and leaves me alone. That's why I'm not so worried. I know he'll be back, uh, eventually. The least he could do is tell you where he goes. It's not right. Forcing you to put on a brave front and pretend you're not worried. Oh, you could tell? Darn it. I try so hard to pretend it's perfectly normal that he just disappears. But the truth is, I'm scared to death about him. And you have no idea where he goes? What's his name? His name's Cole. He said he went to the woods to look for fertilizer. The Yab Woods, I mean. If you happen to see Father, would you tell him something? If I find a farmer called Cole, I'll send him on home. Father headed towards Yab, where the hunting woods lie. When you find him, tell him to bring some fertilizer home. See something? them easily. Are you the coal who owns the field? Huh? Who who told you that name? Where'd you hear it? From Sarala at Canopus Farms. She told me that her father, Cole, left the village to collect fertilizer from the woods, but he didn't come back. And so you thought I was his fertilizer seeker? Is that what you're telling me? Is that right? You still haven't answered my question. Mm, sure enough. But why should I give you something for nothing? I say we, you and I, engage in some give and take. You're not going to answer me, are you? Not until you do something for me. The fact is, I am looking for fertilizer. Which doesn't make me that coal fella mind. Anyway, it's a big job. And I can do with some help. No, no, it's simple enough work. Anyone can do it. I've already found the stuff. It just needs gathering. I've marked the locations with a shovel. All you have to do is dig the stuff up and bring it to me. I've done what you asked. Now tell me who you are. Of course. I'm a man of my word, and I'll tell you what you want to know. You said you are looking for Sarala's father, a man called Cole? That's right, isn't it? Now listen carefully. Uh, the Cole you seek, well, the fact is he's, uh... He's already dead. He is? Yep, that's right. I was the one who found him. He was attacked by monsters. I ran to help, but by the time I reached him, it was too late. I was standing here pondering how I was going to break the news to Sarala when you came along with your questions. I feared if I told you what happened, you'd run straight off and tell Sarala. She has to be told sometime. Or will you keep it a secret? Of course not. I know I can't put it off forever, 
much as I'd like to. Now's the time. She needs to be told the truth. Plain and simple, with no sugarcoating. I think it'll be for the best. In the long run, leastways. For the best, huh? Um, tell me. When you say it would be for the best, do you mean it would be the best for Sarala? Or are you talking about yourself? What do you mean? Why, Sarala, of course. She's a strong girl. If you ask me, she'll do far better without her old man to burden her. Yep, she'll be able to move on, stand on her own feet, and live her own life. All right. Well, in that case, let me tell her. You'd really do that? I'd hate to drag a stranger into this. Maybe a stranger is exactly who she needs to hear it from. Hmm. You might be right. Very well. I'll leave it in your capable hands. That fertilizer you collected, it, it was Cole who found it. So, why don't you take it to Sarala as a keepsake? Oh, and one more thing. Give her a message from Cole. You spoke to him? Yep, just before he died in my arms. The last thing he said was, dig next to the flower. You tell her that, in those exact words. It's a hard story to swallow, but at the very least, he really cares about Sarala and what happens to her. I'll go back to Canopus Farms and tell Sarala the news. The flower? Could it be? Sarala. Oh, hello! Is that fertilizer from the woods? Thanks! Does that mean you met Father? I've got some bad news. Oh, no! Please, not that! He left a message. His last words before he died were, Dig next to the flower. The... the flower? A box? My dearest daughter, if this letter has found its way into your hands, it breaks my heart. But you shall not be seeing me again. I pray that you'll forgive me, but I could not bring myself to say these words to you in person. Now, I want you to know this. The vegetables that we grow in that field are the finest in all of the wildlands. Everyone who tastes them agrees. Do you know why, my daughter? Because you, you are the one who tends them. It's all thanks to you. Once I am dead, the farm passes to you. It's yours to do as you please. I ask only one thing of you. You know the flower that I looked after? The one that never blooms? Please, promise me you'll look after it. Keep it safe. This is my last request to you. There will be no more after this. Farewell, my dearest daughter. Oh, Dad! Are you alright? Yes. Thank you for everything. For telling me the truth. Father stayed here on the farm, not because he liked it, but because he didn't want to leave me alone. He always wanted to leave. To leave this place and go on a journey. A journey? Yes. To find my mother. She disappeared a long time ago, but he believed she was alive, and he thought I held him back. You shouldn't think like that. But it's true. Look what he wrote in the letter. It's all about that stupid flower that never even blooms. He practically comes out and says he doesn't care what happens to me as long as his precious flower is safe. What flower? Oh, who cares? He was obsessed with it, you know? Always fussing over it, even though it never bloomed once. What? It is. It really is. I found it. Unbelievable. Who are you? Why, who cares who I am? Behold, the Sorala Rosa, genus Muncius, the flower of legend, said to bloom once every 500 years. What? Sorala? Yes, yes. Sarala Rosa Muncius. In the ancient tongue, it means for the love of my daughter. The legend says that any place that it blooms will be blessed with great fortune and prosperity forever. I must leave you now and write my paper before my rivals beat me to it. Cornelia is my name. 
And that biology is my game. Goodbye and good luck. Sarala. Hmm. He must have named you after the flower. For good luck. And prosperity. Yes. Oh, Dad. wanted some greens, didn't you? You can borrow my field if you like, to grow some of your own. I'm not a farmer. You'll soon get the hang of it. You just need dirt, which I've got. And we've got the fertilizer that Father found. There you go. Can you see? The spots where I spread the fertilizer. Just plant seeds there and gazelle greens will sprout thick as weeds. Here, I'll give you your first seed. The better the fertilizer, the more greens you can grow. Go find some and bring it back. Visit any time. I believe in quality. Try feeding some of that to the chocobo. Easy there, boy. Already found four soul fragments? Then that means there's just one more to go. The blue vines move aside. The red vines part only during the night, Kupo. The red vines in the village stand open from 7 at night to 7 in the morning. This is Xavier! 
Deep in the forest, I stumbled onto a small village, the last home of the Mughals. I was just in time. Their peaceful lives were about to be shattered by a terrible menace. You mean them? Yes, Kubo. Terrible beasts they are. They might find us poor Mughals, Kubo. Ow, ow. And now they know where you live.
Here, take this. It's a special something for my little worker bee. So, we meet again, Savior. Uh, not by choice. Oh, excuse me. I had no idea. You are so subtle. Just one hint, though. Go see that Chocoboco chick. She asked you to save Saz, didn't she? It's no wonder. She can't help worrying about him. So, how do they know each other? Oh, and here I just assumed you knew. Well, I guess you'll understand when you get all the soul fragments. Didn't she tell you that she'd run straight to Saz's place when that happens? Light, you've got all five soul fragments you needed to find for Dosh. Together we can prevail! Get out that coffer you have. I've got all five of the soul fragments for Dodge. You serious? I searched the whole damn world or what's left of it and never found a single one of them. You, you found them for me, Lightning. Thank you for this. You saved my son for me. That Chocobo, it wasn't here before, was it? <laughs> yeah, she'd up and left us in a lurch. Dodge's little Chocolina didn't even notice when she snuck back in. Chocolina? Never mind that. What about Dodge? The Coffer of Souls is right there, so drop in those soul fragments. Nice and gentle. Lumina said, once they're put in that box, they'll become one again. You do that, and I'll take care of whatever comes next. Open the box, and the soul should go back to Dodge all in one piece, where it belongs. Okay. Hmm. What the? What's wrong with this thing? Damn box won't open. Hello, hello. Why doesn't this thing work? I got Dodge's soul back, didn't I? Hmm. His soul is reborn, but his heart's shut away tight. Little Dodge is frightened and doesn't want to come out. It's your scary face. My face? Uh, what am I supposed to do about that? It's the only one I've got. Hell with that. Hey, Dodge. Dodge, can you hear me in there? You're messing with your old man, right? Tell her, son. You're not frightening me. Come on, Dodge. Wake up, Dodge. Dodge. Uh, son, Dodge. Huh? Now what do you want? Quit it or I'll stick you in a cage. Stop flapping around. Leave me alone, I'm busy. Look, sit there and shut your beak, will you? Ow! Hey, that hurts! What was that for? Ah, uh, ouch! Hey, that seriously hurts! Ah, blasted fluffball! Huh? What? Cool it, will you? What's gotten into that pea brain of yours? All right, all right, it's the way right. you look. You too? Damn, the whole world's got it in for my face. Saz, I'm serious. You should see yourself. You're scowling all the time, like you want to scream at someone. Is that right? Scary face, huh? So that's what you mean. Uh, I've been wrapped up in my own anger. I didn't think about what I must look like to dodge. I used to be different. No matter how tough the going got, could always figure out a way to smile and let Dodge know it was okay. Yeah, that's something the father's got to learn to do. 
I've been doing it all wrong, but that ends now. Dodge, remember that game we used to play? Hmm. Pilots, are you ready? This space race is gonna decide who's the fastest air jockey in all the pulse. And blast off! Whoa, chocobo and airship are neck and neck. Who's gonna crack first? Zoom! I'm Saz Catroy bringing you the race of the century together with Supersonic Dodge. Hey, Dodge, you awake? Come on, Supersonic. You gotta miss the race. Here, open your eyes. Your dad's here. Oops. Oh, oh. Hey, are you okay? Huh? Ah, <laughs> you're all right. Sorry about that. Guess I got too caught up in the space race. Again. Thank you. 